Welcome to the Insights Hub Dashboard Designer video series where we will give you a detailed overview of the application and equip you with all the needed information to start your journey with Insights Hub Dashboard Designer. In this video, we want to guide you through the quick creation of your first dashboard. Firstly, the Insights Hub Launchpad must be open so that the following view is visible. If you take a closer look at the Launchpad, you will notice that two different dashboard apps are available the Dashboard Viewer and the Dashboard Designer. The main difference between these two apps is that only the Dashboard Designer allows you to create and modify dashboards. The Insights Hub Dashboard Viewer only allows you to view and use dashboards that have been created. In this video, we would like to take a closer look at the Insights Hub Dashboard Designer. The first step to be able to create your own visualizations is to create a folder structure and finally the new dashboard. Therefore, you have to navigate to the Dashboard tab on the left-hand side. To create a new folder, click on the blue New button in the top right-hand corner. In the pop-up window, you can enter a name for your new folder. We now start with adding a new dashboard and a visualization widget. Therefore, create a new dashboard with the blue New button in the top right corner. After that, press the Add Visualization button in the middle of the screen. In the next step, we want to select the desired data source for your first visualization widget. There are various data sources to choose from. The most common one is the IoT Time Series Data Query. Other options are the inclusion of asset static data, data from the Insights Hub OE application, data from the Insights Hub Integrated Data Lake, or data from the Insights Hub Visual Flow Creator. You want to learn more about these Insights Hub applications? In the video description, you will find further exciting introductions to the Siemens out-of-the-box IoT solutions. For creating the first widget of the dashboard, we are selecting the IoT Time Series option. After choosing the data source, the editing page of the widget is displayed. At that point, it is important to save your created dashboard right now by clicking the Save button in the upper right corner. The pop-up window asks you about a dashboard name. Please enter a personal name here and finish the storing process. Now it is possible to edit your created widget so that a visualization with your data will be displayed in the dashboard. To do that, click on the three dots in the upper right corner of the widget and select Edit. After that, we want to select the desired data query. Therefore, the most important step is the fill out of the asset, aspect, and variable selection. There are two different ways to do this. You can directly choose the asset by clicking into the field. This also works for the aspect and the variables as well. The second way is to click on the select button close to the selection fields. With this way, you get a better overview of your data structure. Both ways are leading to the same result. In our case right now, we select the asset plant underscore Munich, the aspect machine underscore metrics, and the associated variable set underscore uptime. It should also be mentioned at this point that it is possible to select all available variables of one aspect. After the selection of the desired variables, another important information is that also the query type could be chosen by yourself. What does this concrete mean? In the Insights Hub Dashboard Designer, you could select the usage of the raw data, which means that every single data point will be displayed in the chart. Another possible option is the use of the aggregate option. This setting causes that a few data points will be summarized. How exactly this will be done can be defined in the aggregate option under the variable selection. The second step for creating a widget is the selection of the chart type. In the Insights Hub Dashboard Designer application, you can choose between several different default diagram types. These include, among others, bar charts, gauges, tables, or heat maps. We have now decided to create a time baseline for time series inspection. In the video about Apache eCharts, we will guide you through the process of integrating even more special diagram templates. To complete the diagram, we now define a diagram title and a label for the vertical axis. These settings could be done in the options fields on the right side of your screen. Together with these two settings, 
there are a lot of other options to improve your diagram. To name a few, editing the scale of one axis, change the line interpolation of the diagram, or add a threshold to display the curve of the diagram in different colors to highlight outliners in the data set. After adding this feature, your first widget is ready and could be deployed to your first simple dashboard. In the following part of the video, the possible general settings of a dashboard will be mentioned. At that point of process of the creation of a dashboard, an important task is the storing process of the dashboard. In the Dashboard Designer application, there is an extensive versioning system. By clicking the Save button in the top right corner next to the Add button, a window will be opened, which give you the hint to describe your changes in the dashboard. By selecting the dashboard settings next to the Save button and afterwards choosing the Versions tab in the upcoming window, you get an insight into previous versions of your dashboard. This could be helpful if a lot of changes by different editors would be done. With this feature, it is also possible to switch back to previous versions of your dashboard. In the tab, General, you can change your visualization to an editable or read-only dashboard. In addition, you can enter general information like adding dashboard tags or change some time options like the time zone or the definition of auto-refresh intervals, which will be displayed in the dashboard overview page. Other settings that are worth mentioning are the creation of variables for the entire dashboard, the possibility of adding dashboard links, and adding different permissions for different user groups. In the lowest tab, there is the option to display a JSON code of the whole dashboard so that the dashboard could be imported, for example, in another place. To provide the dashboard with continuous data now, you can switch back to the dashboard overview window and edit the refresh interval in the top right corner. Either a auto refresh mode could be selected or a personal one. It depends essentially on the refresh rate of your Insights Hub instance. After editing some of the mentioned aspects in the dashboard setting menu, your first quick dashboard is ready for use.